If you're a makeup artist looking for a new way to organize your makeup kit, not to be dramatic, but this bag changed my life. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Shane and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a fun video for you because I'm gonna be showing you inside of my makeup kit. I'm gonna show you how I've been organizing it using this $50 bag from Amazon that I'm basically obsessed with. <laughs> if you haven't been new to my channel, I'm a freelance makeup artist and licensed esthetician based out of Los Angeles, obsessed with simplifying beauty, making it quick and easy, and sharing all of my tips with you. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to stay up to date on my latest videos. All right, guys, so let's get into the bag here. I purchased this on Amazon for $48.98 back in July, and I've been obsessed with it ever since. It actually has a few different cool things about it. It does come with these little straps that you can hook either from like here to here or kind of like in a backpack way, but actually I find that I most use it on my wheelie luggage pieces, so I just kind of wheel it on top and it sits and is stable there. This guy is 4.72 pounds by itself. With my makeup, I can tell you it is a lot more. <laughs> now I have the extra large size and I find that it is a perfect size for me. This is about 17.7 inches across and um, it has quite a bit of room in the side of the compartments. You can truly organize your bag in so many different ways. I kind of tetris my bag. It is <laughs> chocked full. I don't think there could be any more room even if I tried, but in this front pouch, I take out everything that's inside it when I'm working. This does have these three little pouches here. I've seen some hairstylists put like hot tools in here before. Um, sometimes I'll put some of these little things inside of it, but most of the time I'll just shove it in this main pouch. This is my disposable box. It's actually pretty thick. I purchased it at the container store. This has like my mascara wands, Q-tips, sponges, lash curlers, anything like that. I also keep my pinky puffs in here. Y'all know I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> and then my wax paper palettes, um, as well as my little brush bar. If you haven't heard about this product, I'll link a few videos where I'm talking about it. I'm obsessed with it. And then my liquid kind of disposables, my hand sanitizer, Altoids, uh, alcohols, and brush cleaner as well. And then this just fits nicely in this top pouch here. But when I am working, I'll take all of it out. And on to the main event. Let's go ahead and go inside the makeup bag. So this pops open just like this. It's got these two little straps here that help keep it up. Oops, those are my legs. That's weird. <laughs> um, this has a mirror inside that sometimes I'll use, sometimes I won't. It actually just slips out of this pouch here. So if you need that extra space, you can definitely use it. I've actually seen some makeup artists put iPad here um, for continuity so they can look at the pictures there while they're working out of their kit. This has this little mirror. It comes with a little stand. So you can set it on your station if you want to, or you can leave it out. Sometimes if this is packed even more full than it actually already is, then I will um, take the mirror out just for some extra room. But it's nice that it gives you that option. So the next thing that I put in here is just my little placemat. This goes out first uh, whenever I'm doing any makeup. And then uh, <laughs> this is my makeup kit. This is the only makeup that I carry uh, whenever I'm doing any type of makeup. Sometimes if it's a fashion shoot, I'll throw in an extra bag of just like crazier colors. But most of the time I do film and TV work. So this is all that I need. I. Uh, just pop up these little palettes that I have in here. Sorry, it's a little hard to show you with one hand, but usually these palettes lay flat and then this bag goes on top of it. But then when I get to work, I'll lay up these palettes um, and then put this bag right in here too. And so when I'm working, my station looks just like this. This has saved so much time. It is absolutely ridiculous. Um, because literally when I get there, I just pop this open and I'm ready to go. It comes with these little dividers. They're super easy to slide in and out. And I'm excited for you to kind of create your own organization because everyone works so differently. But I kind of cut a few of them to make the little smaller compartments that work better for me. Now I'm not gonna go into details of every single product and shade. But if you're interested in more like specialized videos, like what highlighters I carry, what lip colors I carry and why, then let me know in the comment section below because I can get into a little bit more detail about those. But I will show you kind of the way that I organize my kit. These are little like primers. I basically do my makeup and organize it in the way that I work. First of all, after priming the face, I'm gonna decide what 
kind of finish I want for it. So if I want more of a matte finish, I'll use these guys from Face to Face. And then if I want more of a radiant finish, the Face Atelier liquid highlighters. And then I go into foundation. Most of the time I do foundation first. Um, these are different cream palettes, um, as well as this little concealer palette that I created my own. If you haven't heard of Vuset before, these, this is a Vuset palette. And it's great because you can depot all of your products into it um, to get exactly what you want in a custom palette. So these are kind of like my foundations. And then my concealers go down here too. These are my liquid concealers, um, as well as like my Mar Armani Master Correctors too. So then after I've kind of knocked out the complexion, then we're gonna add some color. So that's gonna be, these are kind of blushes that I just can't shake. Some of my favorite blushes are in here um, from Lauren Mercier, MAC, any of those. These are these little palettes. I've shown you them in a couple of videos before, but it's blush and powder. Foundations from Ben Nye, I, mix these two together to create two custom palettes based on skin tone. I have a bronzer. I have some more kind of cream color correctors. This guy is, everyone should have it. This is the uh, palette from Terry Tomlinson. It gives you your primary colors so you can truly, 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 truly do any makeup that you need to do or correction. So this is the rescue palette. Yep the Rescue Palette and it is amazing for those quick changes. You can use this kind of wax-based product, mix it into lip color, mix it into foundation, anything. It's really, really great. Here are my loose powders. Um, I have three different shades in here as well as the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then after that, I go into lip color. These are most of my lip palettes. These are from Sean Richards London. And actually over the holiday, I'm gonna be depotting them into like a blue set palette like this. Um, just so I can carry quite a bit more. These are just things that I just can't shake. So this was like my original uh, lip palette that I carried for years and years and years and years and years before I carried um, these guys. There also are some like Christian Dior glosses. Some other lip products and samples that I'm trying out, like just random kind of little samples, as well as if you're a beginning makeup artist, honestly having this matte gloss is perfect because you can make any lip color glossy and it's just one product. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you're starting off, like you don't need all of these different lip colors. And then in this main compartment, this is where I put my palettes. So I do mostly TV and film work, so I don't really need crazy shades, but once again, if I'm, doing a shoot where I know I'm gonna need more, I'll definitely throw in a few more palettes. Um, this is a blush palette. Now, I don't love Z palettes. I've talked about that in a couple of videos before, but this one is just what I need right now. I'm probably gonna get a Stick With It palette or a Makeup Forever palette. These are Makeup Forever blushes. Um, and then for eyeshadow, I carry the Viseart Pro Grande in matte. And then I have a little shimmer palette here, some Viseart as well. And then this guy, this has all of my brow powders in it. I have a separate video with all the brow products I carry in my makeup kit that I'll link in the description box below, so definitely check that out. And then this bag, I recommend everyone keeping a bag like this in their makeup kit because what I basically do for this bag is I put in products that don't really have a place in here yet. I carry just things that I'm testing out. So like I've, I'm testing out Natasha Denona eyeshadow and seeing how if I use it enough in my kit. I have the Fiona Styles contouring palette. I just made a video about these, obsessed. I'll link in the description if you haven't seen it. Uh, I put my like soap brows in there, just like concealers, primers, things that I'm like testing out, see if they have like a real, a real place in my in my life <laughs> and in my makeup bag. So I definitely recommend having a bag like this for you because your kit is constantly gonna be changing. So it's good to kind of have room for that growth. And just when you think you saw enough, there's more. <laughs> this actually pops up dun, 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 and holds all of my pencils. <laughs> I actually love using this for pencils. I know a lot of makeup artists will use it for brushes. Um, but I actually like to keep my brushes in a separate spot. I did actually put a little bit of fabric kind of in the bottom of this, um, but I do hold my brow pencils, eyeliners, lip liners, and kind of those jumbo lip pencils too. Um, and I find that it is just perfect and quick and easy, and then my makeup is all in one kit, and I don't have to have like a million different bags. Um, and then the last little secret pouch here is this little zipper pouch and this is kind of fun. I actually carry my fake lashes in here 
Um, in my line of work, I don't do a ton of like crazy fake lashes, but it's nice to have kind of your basics just kind of thrown in here. And then of course, what every makeup artist needs to have, <laughs> this is the flesh tone color wheel from Terry Tomlinson. This goes with me on every single job. It is incredible. I have a few videos about it that I'll post in the description box below, but this pocket is actually pretty deep. It goes to about here. Um, so I can store a lot of different types of fake lashes. And these are my favorite Demi Wispies. <laughs> the one thing that I will say is like, be careful with this zipper. Like don't push it too hard because I have had one of them break. All right guys, that is it for me for this week. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, there are more tips and tricks on Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shanna Marie. And stop, look around, because I'm gonna put in some videos right now of some cool things that I think you'll love. So definitely check out those videos and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.